What's going on everybody? All right, today is sea scallops. How to cook ski, ski scallops or sea scallops? There could be a difference. I know there's bay scallops, which are the small ones, but ski scallops I haven't seen before. <laughs> so today we have sea scallops and uh, we're gonna be making those. It's my wife's birthday. Uh, she's over the hill, she's only 36, so that's close enough for me. Uh, super easy video today. Uh, but I just want to get a couple basics down with you guys. i um, super excited. I got the new merch shirt. Uh, we just did a, um, a quick video on an update on the deck um, on our garden. If you guys haven't seen that, check that video out right there. I'm super excited. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. So how easy could be a sea scallop? Well, it depends on how you're going to make it. You could do fried, you could do blackened, you could do uh, scallops and uh, grits. But today we're just going to do a classic. Today is all about using the meat for what it is. We're not going to wrap it in bacon. We're not going to over season it. We want to taste a scallop. We absolutely love scallops. And uh, just a quick video or a quick shot. See how big these are? These are sea scallops. Think about this, the sea is a very, very large piece of water. A bay is a small piece of water off of the sea. So a bay scallop would be small, a ski scallop would be large. A ski scallop? That's the same thing as the thing that we said that we haven't seen earlier. I'm all over the board with these sea scallops. Sea scallop. That one too, that one too. All right, so how basic is it? Lemon, parsley, little garlic, salt and pepper, and that's it. Let's do a classic. Cast iron pans preheating. Um, this is probably going to be the most important, most important part of the, uh, the whole thing. You guys see how it's smoking? It's going to be a little hot, but that's where we want it. You want your cast iron hot. No matter if you're using um, stainless steel, non-stick, or cast iron, uh, to properly cook a sea scallop, you're going to have to develop that crust on the top and on the bottom. And these happen very, very, very fast. We're talking about uh, for that size or jumbo sea scallop, Sea, ski scallops because those just came in fresh but these sea, sea scallops uh <laughs> let's see uh they're jumbo so i'd probably say a minute and a half on one side and maybe a minute on the other so it's very important to season it before it goes in the pan it's very important to mise en place what does that mean that just means to have your ingredients together uh, make sure if you're going to have it with sides your sides are ready and uh other than that let's get this bad boy going all right so our pan we know our pan's hot because it was smoking uh, we're not going to add butter first because butter has a higher burn point. We're going to mix a little bit of butter and olive oil. We're going to season our sea scallops. That is very hard for me to say. They're sc we'll, we'll just cut it like this. Our scallops. A lot easier. Uh, once we flip them, we're going to add, that's when we're going to add our butter. We're going to add garlic and a little bit of parsley. And that's going to be it. All right, let's go. You ready? Like I said, let's use the meat for what it is. Let's taste the meat. So we're just going to do a little salt, a little fresh cracked pepper, and just like one side, you have to turn them over. Now sometimes people say there's a sear side, uh, like a presentation side, and um, that would be the larger side of the scallop. And other people, they're really not as worried about it. Um, I went through mine, I really don't see there's that much of a difference between a a presentation side or a sear side. What does that mean? It just means that one side of the scallop is larger than the other. And so that would be the scallop, or that would be the side that you would put down first because that's going to help in here that crust the longest. Uh, but other than that, let's go salt, pepper. Oh, one quick note. If you can't find fresh scallops, you're going to have to thaw them out. If you thaw them out, the uh, the milky liquid that comes out of them, um, you really want to drain that as much as possible. Um, earlier today, I've had these uh, at room temperature. So let's say I've had them out for about 30 minutes, but I set them on paper towels. When we first thawed them out, I had them just in a Tupperware dish and uh, all that liquid I just discarded. If I was making a stock or a, um, a bouillabaisse or a, a, what's it called with like the hot pepper, the hot uh, tomato stuff, ch uh, chipino or something like that. Anytime you could use that stock for something, that would be the time to do it. Um, but since we're going to be searing, you want your scalps to be dry. So uh, the second step of uh, thawing these out, I had them resting on paper towels 
to absorb as much moisture as possible. So, a little quick note. And since these do go so fast, it's probably uh, to your benefit to let these come to room temperature. You definitely don't want to cook them straight out of the refrigerator uh, because the amount of time it takes to cook these is no time at all. All right. A little nice skill competition going on. I got just a tad mix, one sprig of a cilantro. The rest of it's just parsley, just because I love the look, I love the flavor. We got these from our garden. What a benefit of having a nice little garden, weed free. And this is basically right now just going to be more for um, color, appearance, garnish, than it is flavor. All right, so we got that ready. We got the garlic ready. All right. This is how quick it's gonna be. We're gonna heat our pan back up. We're gonna add the butter. We're just gonna use a nice little spoon or you can use a uh, fork and a spatula. But remember these scallops necessarily, you know, ooh, that was skilled. These scallops necessarily aren't the world's largest piece, but you wanna be able to control it nice and easy. So we're just gonna let this come up to temperature. Add a little olive oil. Ooh, you know what we could use instead of butter right now? Let's do that. I just thought of this. Change on the fly. Change the recipe. Hold everything. A little bacon grease. A little rendered bacon grease. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to help that olive oil with a smoke point. All right. Now, how do you know when your oil is hot enough? Well, there's two ways to do it. Right when it comes up to a smoke point is going to be a good way to uh, know that your the oil's going to be hot enough. What you don't want to do is is uh, rush this step right here and put it in. You guys see that? It's barely starting to smoke right now, and that's exactly what we want. That's going to tell you that your pan's ready. What you don't want to do is not get your pan hot enough, and when you put your scallops in, they start boiling. You're never going to uh, get that really deep caramelization crust, and that's what we're looking for. That's the key of this whole scallop right now is just that crust. All right, ready? Right there. Right there. Just bring this over. It's going to happen super fast. All right. One more twirl around the pan. And that's what's great about these cast iron pans. That's why I love cooking with them is the fact they hold their temperature so well. You ready? Oh, yeah. You hear that? That's what you want. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. Just press them down just a little bit so they have that contact with the surface of the cast iron pan. Nice and delicate. You can already smell it. Already, can you smell it? Already it just smells like a, it does. All right. Now, just like anything you cook, you're going to know right away when your scallops are ready because once it uh, develops that deep crust, that's when, you, that's when you'll be able to flip it. That's when the scallop itself will release from the pan. All right, let's see if we can do a sneak peek. I would say about 45 to 50 seconds. I can feel it. It's not ready. That one's ready. Most so, of these. It, so if they're sticking to the pan, they're not ready. Correct. That one's ready, that one's ready, and that one's ready. So what happens is it hasn't got that crust seat, how some of them were moving. I knew some of them were going to be ready. And that's what we want. We're going to let them go just for a couple more seconds. Let me flip that one back over. Because I want that deep crust. That, that's The whole thing about a scallop is really to be able to uh, change the flavors. They're... You know, once you get that caramelization, it's almost like it just creates that sweetness that you crave when you eat a scallop. So that's what we're going for. And adding that little bit of bacon fat, that might be the trick right there. Higher smoke point. Mm. You don't have to overpower the scallop when you wrap it in bacon. I'd probably say we're about a minute in right now. So I'm going to give it about 15 to 30 more seconds. And uh, flip them, and that's where we're going to finish it with butter, garlic, and a little bit of parsley. You don't want to add your garlic now, because you add your garlic now, 
your pan is so hot, it's gonna burn the garlic before your sauce is finished, and that's a no brino. No good. Burnt garlic. Is a no brino or a no, no no bueno? No brino. Okay. Yeah, I said it right for the first <laughs> time ever. But you definitely don't want burnt garlic. Burnt garlic is horrendous. Unless you have a dish called burnt garlic. Never seen it. I'm sure it's out there. All right, here we go. Yeah, they're ready. There we go. Looks like we wanted that nice caramelization. It could be a little bit deeper. Let us sit on this for a couple more seconds. You don't want to press too hard here. It's not like you're trying to squeeze the juice out, but you just want the contact of all the scallops to hit the pan. And this is almost like real time. So I just want to show you guys how quick this could really happen. You definitely don't want to be sidetracked walking around the house. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Mmm. God, can you smell it? Mm-hmm. Not good. Oh, wait. That's what we're looking for, guys. That that golden brown color. I mean, I'm gonna add just drain that oil just a little bit. Add about I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna let that go. Sorry for crossing over the video. We're at about a tablespoon of garlic. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a squeeze of lime, uh, uh, about a quarter of a lemon. We're going to add the parsley right at the end. This is going to be our pan sauce. There's fancy words out there that talk about bathing your meat. It has slipped my mind. But the point is, this is just luscious. I mean, it's butter, it's bacon fat, a little bit of olive oil. The garlic want to get toasted. Mm. All you want to do is have your scallops absorb the flavor right here. And then, like I said, it doesn't take long. So this other side is going to cook faster than the first side. Your pan's hotter. It's been able to recover from the heat. The scallop itself is heated up. I think we're ready. I think we're right there where we need to be. Add a little bit of parsley. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got to turn this eye off. Hold, oh, I'm burning my arm. <laughs> Anything for a video. Walk it off. That's what they used to say in sports. You could have a cough, the coach would say, walk it off. You have a broke leg and it's like, walk it off. All right, nice little plate of scallops. Just gonna drizzle it with that butter, bacon fat, garlic, salt, pepper. Mm. Here we go. Ooh. That's hot. All right, let's bring them over here, right here. Garnish some plate here, trying to make it pretty for the wifey. But, like every video, we always do a taste test. Always do a taste test. All right, so which one? It don't really matter, does it? Mm, this is just loaded with garlic. I like mine about medium rare. Look at that. Opaque. Mm, grab some of that sauce. You ready? Mm, it's so tender and sweet. Give me a bite. It is my birthday. Oh gosh. I think I outdid myself. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get a, a video of the bite. <laughs> of you doing it? <laughs> as big as mouth as that is, I should be able to hit it from here. Mm. 
That's oh, good. Mm. That is good. Mm. I tell you the kicker. You didn't need any spice. The cr the fresh cracked pepper, I think, was just enough to give you that little over the top oomph. You know. Mm. Delicate. Mm. Let's White. see the inside. Show me the inside of it. The scallop mm. itself was just sweet. Okay, that's my bite again. Mm. Last one. The rest of it's mine. <laughs> hey, your birthday is my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. How to cook a sea scallop, start to finish. One of the easiest proteins, meat, fish, shellfish you're ever going to make. Let's recap. Hot pan is basically the key to everything. Once your pan's hot, your scallops are dry. It's a quick sear on both sides. And it's really up to you of how you want to finish it. Where You can have a sweet chili sauce. You can do Asian. Like I said, blackened, fried. You put over grits. Golly, that makes me want to cook them again. With cheese grits. Oh, gosh. Like little uh, country ham gravy over top of it with a little hot sauce. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching the Charcoal King. I'll see you next time. Hey, don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound that notification button. My daughter just taught me that. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Peace.